Hi, I'm Kitty, and welcome to a Toffle Boyfriend Do. Um, let's start. Saint Pigeon Nation. Oh my god. Alright, welcome to Saint Pigeon Nations. Please enter your name. Uh, no. I'll just accept some. Um... There you go. My last name? No, no, no. Um. Oops. There we go. Is Kitty Meow okay? Well, yes. Hateful Boyfriend includes a powerful visualization module allowing even the brickiest of birds to appear as normal humans for the first introduced. Display human portraits. I. Uh, Yes. I would be interested. Configuration saved. Alright, cool. <laughs> Saint Pigeonations, a school blessed with extensive circular and facilities. Okay. <laughs> it's already been a year since I ended my ordinary life and walked through these gates. I should probably say this school is known for one thing in particular. This school is Japan's, no, the world's greatest gathering place for gifted birds. Birds who want to study the arts, the sciences, even sports, all come to St. Pigeonations. <laughs> the teaching staff and student body are both made up of a diver diverse blend of birds of different backgrounds and species. I'm often asked why I chose to come here despite not being a bird. <laughs> It's a long story. Okay, long story short, I'm a kitty, obviously. Duh. No, I'm just kidding. Not every day I see you rushing along like this. Ryota! Usually you'd have been ready for an hour by now, kitty. Overslept? Uh, no. Okay, oh, he's, he's pretty. This rock dove is named Kavara Ryota. We've been friends since he was barely hatched. He can be a little mischievous, but he's responsible and kind. Oh. <laughs> Breakfast is a little hard to catch today. I can't relax without red meat inside. This <laughs> is so cool. I don't know. Grooming as a hunter gatherer sounds t uh, tough. I'd be happy to make your breakfast, you know. I might take you up on that offer when starvation looms. Thanks, Ryota. <laughs> Oh, the bell already? Come on, we need to hurry to class. Jeepers, no good being late on the first day. Oh. <laughs> and so Ryota pulled me along into the school. Today is the start of a new semester. I wonder what lies in store. It was all I could do to just adjust to the atmosphere last year. Or to make up for all that lost fun. Oh my god. Hey, Tofu, play for Endu. The most splendid and greatest academy of the pigeon, but a pigeon and for a pigeon. First <laughs> I don't even... I think we're in 2-3. Ryota and I are in the same class again. Old faces, new faces, a strange thrill fills my heart as I look around at the assembled birds. I hope we all get along. Here's to the formation of many happy memories. Oh, the teacher's here. Um, good morning, everybody. Uh, I'm Nanaki Katsuaki. I seem to be your teacher this year. I specialize in math and physics. Also, some other things. <laughs> Sir, wake up! It's homeroom. He sleeps with his eyes open? Oh, cutie. <laughs> this quail is Nanaki Katsuaki, he's famously so far soporific math professor. Ha. Huh. I'd heard the rumors, but I hadn't expected him to fall asleep just like that. <laughs> Apparently he's well known as a mathematician. Just goes to show great minds come in all forms. <laughs> ah, I'm sorry. 
Isn't it a little warm in here? Which me rem reminds me, we have a transfer student. Please introduce yourself, Shirogane. What is the point? I have no wish to speak with commoners. Do not think I'm here because I wish to be. Oh, jeez. Oh, well, I guess that's that. Hey, 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 that's no good. But he doesn't want to introduce himself. But we can't just let him break the rules like that, sir. The system will collapse and we'll all turn into kulaks and centers. Well, when you put it like that, could you at least say your name, Shirogane? <laughs> Shirogane Lebel Sakuya. What a name. Oh god, you look like one of those already. It seems his fantail is Shirogane Sakuya. His feathers would make any birdie proud. He's pretty stuck up, but then uh, transferring is never easy. I hope we can be friends. Okay. <laughs> Sequoia sits down, glaring daggers at Ryota and me. Oh, jeez. I think this little bird is telling me there's going to be trouble down the line. Lunch already? Today is slipping by so quickly. It reminds me, I've had these books out from the library all summer. I'll return them now. Fees? Question mark? <laughs> Where is everyone? Aside from the receptionist, there's hardly anybody here. Huh? Is someone looking at me? Probably just my imagination. Or not. A morning dove stands in a dark corner, staring my direction. Morning doves aren't very common in Japan, but apparently they're everywhere in America. Um, did you want something from me? Look. I looked away. Not really. I'm pretty sure it was him who I felt looking at me. There's no one else here. Are you sure? Yes, I don't want anything with you. It's the things you're carrying that I'm interested in. He glances at the desk as if to say, hurry up and return them already. Oh, sorry. <laughs> they were a little too dense and I never finished them. Were you waiting for them all summer? Uh. He silently returns his gaze to his book. Maybe he's in a bad mood? I'm Meow Kitty, a sophomore. What about you? Mm. The, your... Mm. Nageki. Fujishiro. Nageki. Freshman. Oh. Fujishiro Nageki, huh? Morning doves are pretty rare in Japan. Maybe it's just his voice, but he seems kind of sad. He looks kind of sad. Leave me alone. He's reading his book again. Okay, sorry to bother you. I keep meeting depressing people today. Just like in real life. <laughs> no. Now that I have that out of the way, I think I'll head back to class. Wait, isn't that... You should have been instructed not to approach me in school. Come on, Sakuya, what kind of things is that to say to your own brother after all these years? My brother? You must be joking. You've never once been a brother to me. Please don't try to talk to me again. I've no time for half-breeds. I'll be going now. Hey, wait just a... Uh... I guess even if we're in the same school, now what's done is done. I hadn't meant to eavesdrop, but I think I just overheard something juicy. The ever popular trendsetter and ladies man Sa uh, Sakazaki Yuya is Sakuya's brother? I wonder what the story behind that is. Hey! Oh. You heard that whole thing, right? 
Are you a friend of Sakuya's? I'm, uh, I'm sorry. I didn't mean to listen in on you. Haha, uh. <laughs> no sweat. I try to stay sexy and suave in front of all you little ladies, but that there wasn't too cool. Ah, It looks nice. This fantail pigeon is Sakazaki Yuya, an upperclassman. I've never talked to him before, but he's famous or infamous throughout school. Everybody knows of him. You're Kitty, right? Uh, how did you... I know everybody here. Besides, you're the only human. Oh yeah, right. A single poppy in a field of rye. Did you say you were a friend of Sakuya's? Uh, not exactly. We had a rather ballistic introduction this morning. We're in the same class, that's all. I never have thought that stuck-up aristocrat wannabe was your brother. Aristocrat wannabe. He's an aristocrat, actually. A genuine article in the flesh. He is? He's a bit of a pain, so good luck, Monami. Adieu. Oh. <laughs> he really is a noble bird. I've never heard anything like that about Yuya, though. Probably a twisty business. That's all for today. Stay safe, everyone. Yay! Huh? Sir, where is Ryota? He said he was going to the infirmary. infirmary. Maybe you should go and see if he's still there? Now that I think about it, Ryota always did have a weak stomach. I should go to the infirmary just to make sure he's okay. Hmm. Excuse me? Um... Nobody's here? There's no one sleeping behind the curtains and the doctor isn't here either. My hunter-gatherer instinct feels no presence. There's nobody here. Uh, Ryota? No reply. The infirmary is empty. Wait, did he go home already? I feel a little nervous poking around the empty room. Now that I think of it, I haven't been in here much before. Unlike Ryota, I'm perfectly healthy. Ah, oh, they've got all kinds of drugs in here. Etilpar, Trife, Lucio Benzene. What do these even do? Care to find out? The doctor? I'll feed you all sorts of things if you want. Hmm? Uh, no, thank you. Oh, he looks a little mad. This partridge is Iwamine Shu, the school doctor. He's rather creepy in person and has a bad reputation among the student body. Everybody knows that he that even just talking to him can bring you down with aspergillus, psittocosis, or even worse things. I never even heard him come in the door. Ninja doctor? You don't look like you have a good reason to be in here. Did you need something? Um, I heard Ryota. Kawara from 2-3 was supposed to be here. Him? He's already gone. Oh. Why didn't he come find me before going home? I d sorry to bother you. I'll be going now. Ugh, finally out of that den of evil. Ryota's already gone home? What do I do now? Oh. I never got around to joining a club last year. Maybe I could take a look at some of my options. I think there are clubs for baseball, soccer, track, kendo, migration, bird watching. Wasn't there another one? Anyway, I'll start with the track team. I ran in middle school and it's always funny watching the birds hop around. Okay, sounds like a plan. 
think their club room is on the ground floor, off to the side. The white dove is having a tantrum outside. Cool, cool! This is no pudding for a man! Cool! Okusan rejects it. It is a lie, a vicious falsification. He's dancing around on a squished pudding. What? <laughs> hey, that's not very nice of the pudding. Uh. Oh. This is Oko-san. He doesn't really look it, but supposedly he's a faint, faint tail pigeon. I think. Either way, he's hyper. Cool. Oko-san has suffered a deception most vile, a wretch betrayal. Uh, b betrayal? Cool. Oko-san instructed that pudding be provided for new members. Cool. But this is not pudding. Ousted, scorned, betrayed. Dragged into the street and shot by those he trusted most. It's squished and filthy, but the thing under his feet looks like normal store-bought pudding. Uh, what's wrong with it? Cool, cool. Spare the jest, young lady. Okusan used wing attack. It's super effective. <laughs> Gotta catch him. <laughs> cool. They'll rue the day they crossed Okusan. He'll have them flayed, hanged, shot at dawn. He will. Cool. Okusan was now trained to achieve true pudding. Farewell. And he's gone. He's a good runner, but what does pudding have to do with the track team? And so ended the first day of my second semester at St. Pigeonations. Hiya! I hope you had fun! If you haven't already done so, please subscribe and become a fire buddy. If you would like to be involved with my channel even more actively, please go and check out my Patreon and consider leaving a donation. So you can be involved in decisions for my channel, such as what Let's Play I'm going to play next. And on top of that, getting some really cool other rewards. Are you still in search for a gift or do you just like really nerdy self-made merchandise? Then please go check out my shops. Well, that's all for now from me. I hope to see you soon again. Bye! -o.